Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. If you're using Chromebooks and looking to bring virtual reality into your classroom, I want to share with you CNN's Virtual Reality Archives. It's a special section of their website that includes lots of videos that are virtual reality friendly, whether you use Google Cardboard and have a headset to share with students, or if you're on Chromebooks and want to let them navigate, look back and forth, and search around a 360 view. So when you reach a CNN VR's archive page, you'll find lots of content. Some of it takes you to places like Westminster Abbey. Um, others takes you to places um, that are in the news um, or have to do with a particular topic. You can kind of search through and see what matches your curriculum goals, what'll help uh, gather your students' interests and extend a particular lesson. These videos all have audio and narration so it's kind of like watching a news report while you're able to explore so here's a take a ride in a hot air balloon video i opened it up here in this page i'm just going to mute it for us because i'm talking to you right now and as the video plays you'll see this icon up here it's a little faint but it's the icon that you'll notice for when you have the ability to move around now i'm in my chrome browser and i'm simply tapping on the page and looking up and down and even the text that they place on the screen will move away when I move into another area. So you can see right now we are riding <laughs> in a hot air balloon and this gentleman's holding that camera out on a selfie stick, I'm sure, or some sort of uh, contraption. But let's hit play just so you can hear. You'll notice they'll play music, they'll give you some extra um, content, and sometimes you'll hear that full video narration as well. But it gives students the opportunity to really look up and down um, on the page. What's really cool is that you're getting this like personalized tour by someone of an area. So it's perfect for setting the stage for a read aloud, extending a small group instruction, helping kids make connections and establish relevancy when you are looking at topics that might just be hard for them to wrap their head around. So whether you're working with students who've been to many places around the world or students who haven't really left their community to go exploring, this is a great way to level the playing field and give them lots of content to peek into to extend their thinking and take your lesson to the next level.